matapos gulpihin at pabagsakin ang dalawang Meksikano na una nang nakalaban sa Amerika. Isa pa ulit na Meksikano ang gustong subukan ang lakas ng Pinoy na si Mark Milligan, ang veterano na may mahigit limang pung laban na si Ernesto Cepeda. That's intriguing. Earlier, of course, we talked about uh, Arceo switching from righty to lefty because he was worried left-hander. Of course, there are inherent advantages. Yeah, different schools of thought. Zepeda working to the body early. Melligan trying to use his jab and this lost a very close eight-round decision in May on one of the undercard of uh, Hatton's fight. I believe it's quite interesting that it took place on the Cinco de Mayo with a, a Filipino and a Britain, a British guy. There's <laughs> logic there. Is there logic there? Right, with the Spanish heritage, with the Filipino? I don't know. <laughs> We're halfway through. Milligan having a lot of power, 11 knockouts in his 15 victories see why with his nations and strong looking legs very big he's yeah, got the many punches more I think, I think he seems like he's a type of fighter that wants to sit down his punches and, and just let his hands fly the way he's fighting in the record shows it is 11 knockouts out of 15 he believes he has a uh, power bigger and there is that left we referenced and boy it moves the pay to back and punctuates a very good front punches only four by Zepeda and in keeping with Mario Lopez's interesting uh, ethnic um, uh, uh, Tony Martin the coach of uh, Melligan happens to be British so they're that. continuing that theme there are they certainly are how did they get together that's <laughs> another good question well that's the one thing I love about boxing I mean it is truly yep. an international sport when you say world champion you are a legitimate yep. world champion <laughs> and that's the strength of the sport right now that you international it is the whole thing right now. I think we're ready to embrace, you know. And I think yeah, uh, everybody I can appreciate the talent. You're absolutely right. We're about halfway through round number two. It's Mario, Lo Mario Lopez and uh, Brian Valoria, IBF Junior Flyweight Champ, is uh, providing his expertise. I'm Al Bernstein, and we are delighted you joined us. So far, it's been a fun night of boxing, and kind of found himself a place to work on the inside against Mulligan. Because of Mulligan's ability to, to cover ground with his right-left combination. Be careful not to to get too yeah. too predictable with throwing that right left combination. I mean, he's been throwing it with authority, but and there on the outside, Zepeda 15-1-0 has a um, nine-fight winning streak since losing by TKO to Young Sung Kim. And Al, you know these types of fights are very important for a fighter like Melligan. Fighting against a veteran, somebody that might be able to take in those deep waters. These are and face uh, uh, some some dangerous uh, some dangerous fighters who you really have to have it all together. Round into the night, and it had uh, some action in it. Just to your screen against Ernesto Zepeda. It's been uh, fast-paced two rounds. Nice uppercut oh. by Melligan gets in. That sort of caught him in the chin slash throat. <laughs> Intense look on his face, coming here to fight, being the aggressor. Melligan's corner was telling Melligan to, to work a little bit more on the body and not get too careless with those right and left combinations. Inside. Mark Melligan's dad was a boxer. He worked as a construction foreman in the Philippines and got his son interested in boxing. And Mark, of course, now a 23-year-old who is on the cusp of contention, perhaps. Nice body shot. Mulligan listens to his corner and goes down to the body. Yeah, and against a 32-year-old, you would think you'd be uh, prehistoric. No? <laughs> <laughs> and me old, and, and not, uh, oh, I know, 80s and new 20s now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wow. oh, oh, my goodness. All right. Halfway <laughs> 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 <Wow. laughs> through round. But, but speaking of bodies. Oh, and, great uh, left hand by Mulligan, and that hurts Zepeda. His fight has changed drastically. Here, Milligan pouring it down. Milligan staying calm and using smart, effective punches. Very good crazy. point. Yeah, that's a very good point, Mario. And under a minute left to go, is there enough time for Milligan to get Zepeda down or out? Zepeda coming. Doing that attempt to try to knock uh, Zepeda out. Oh 
Cepeda doesn't look like the kind of guy that will get you out of there with one. He worked out really hard for this fight, he said, and, and he said he's really important for him. countrymen. Mark Melligan making the most of his opportunities so far against Ernesto Zepeda in the last round. Melitans. Melligan the left-hander. Zepeda the righty with the white stripe down his trunk. And Zepeda, though he was hurt in the last round, taking the action to Melligan. He's got a lot of fight in him. Keeps slacking his gloves together. He wants, I mean, an aim for effort and for heart. And there's a cut right on Cepeda's, looks like to be underneath his left eye. Seems to have given Melligan an extra burst of energy. Of course, it's underneath the eye where it, we would not think of it as something to stop this fight, but clearly it's an indication of how the tide in this fight has turned. And Melligan, using those straight left hands, has really altered this fight. Big a left big again left by Melligan. Stuns the pet and puts off the ropes. He looks hurt. Really bothering him. Stop being the aggressor. You have to like how Mel Melligan uses his jab to set up these punches. Yes, yeah. he's doing. He's showing a lot. He's been showing uh, a lot of maturity here and being very composed. He sees that cut and, and just wants to expose it even more. Going There's a the with those left jab, left hooks, right. And now a complete arsenal of punches as he throws the hooks, the jabs, the straight left hands, and Cepeda is in some deep water here. And you mentioned Al, it's not in the... With a big left. Melligan looking at Joe Cortez to see yes. if the fight would be stopped. I think it's a little premature for that, but well, maybe not. You mentioned the, the, the cut. I mean, it seems to be a bad cut, but not necessarily in a place where usually it is stopped because it's not going to impair the vision. Big right hook that cut even more. Mark Melligan, very impressive here in round four as he was in round three. He's a powerful young man. He's very powerful and he shows in his legs too. A whole oh, big my. left hand. Can Zepeda withstand much more of this either in this round or even to come out for round five? The corner is going to have to take a good look at that eye and just take a good look at that fighter because this is a I haven't seen Zepeda throw a Oh, there that is, is a the, knockout. The fight has been stopped. A TKO for Mark Melligan, the 23-year-old from the Philippines. And an impressive, impressive knockout. Had his fighter hurt, saw that he was bloodied, battered. Hard Rock, Joe Cortez steps in and calls a halt to the action, the official time. Two minutes, 40 seconds, round number four. The winner by TKO victory, the mighty Mark Milligan. Mark Milligan gets his 16th win as a professional, his 12th stoppage. Sa lakas na mga suntok ng Pinoy na si Mark Milligan, Nagkasibak-sibak ang mukha ng Meksikano na si Ernesto Cepeda. Kita naman sa mga ngiti ng promoter na si Bob Arum ang malaking paghanga sa Pinoy sa ganda ng ipinakita nito sa laban. Matapos ng impresibong panalo kay Cepeda, apat na laban pa sa Amerika ang naipanalo ng hard punching Pinoy ng Bacolod City na si Mark Milligan. So yan po ang gusto kong ishare sa inyo ngayong araw sa mga kaibigan at kababayan natin sa Pinas mga boxing fans at sa mga tulad kong OFW saan man panig sa mundo kumusta po kayong lahat dyan kung nagustuhan nyo po itong aking video pakilike at kung pwede mag subscribe na din po kayo at para updated kayo sa aking mga video pwede nyo i-click ang notification bell maraming maraming salamat sa inyong panonood shout out kay Mr. Ariel Cruza Rene De La Torre Elmer Lastra Joby Lebres kay Jeff Alvarez, Dong Tangloy Malyari, Madam V, at Bill Humphreyes, at kay Mr. Michael Handugan. 
Maraming maraming salamat po sa pagsuporta nyo sa aking channel.